Hi everyone, it's Kadia, and I wanted to talk to you today about a couple of common problems that can happen when trying to play Mass Effect on the PC. Now the first thing that can happen is that the game simply will not run, and this is dependent on your operating system. When the game was run under Steam, there wasn't a problem. You would tell Steam to launch the game, it would launch the game. When everything got converted to Origin, that's when some people started having problems. And this led to a lot of people incorrectly blaming Origin's launcher. It's not the launcher, it's your operating system. It's very, very simple to fix. Alright, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our search bar, and we're going to search for Mass Effect. Okay, there it is. We're going to right-click with our pinky if you're right-handed, and we're going to open File Location. Okay, now at this point you can pull this uh, shortcut out of here and onto your desktop if you wish. Um, you don't have to, but you can. And we're going to right click on this and we're going to go down here to properties. We're going to come down here to the bottom right, this tab that says compatibility. And we're going to check this box that says run this program as an administrator. And you have to have administrator privileges to do this. We're going to check the box, we're going to select OK. Now, if you've noticed, when we right click on this, there's this button right here with this option that says run as administrator. It will run the program as an administrator that one time. You have to go into the properties tab and go through this with the compatibility to run it as an administrator every time. So that is that. You have to do that for all three games, but that's how you fix it. Nice and easy. The second thing that can happen is in two places in the game, on peak 15 and on Novaria, Sorry, Peak 15 and Ilos, I'm sorry. Uh, the shadows and shaders go haywire and it does, where is it? This to your squad. Um, if your squad is in the Mako, it will also do this to the Mako. And this is incredibly disorienting and it's very difficult to play with, especially at higher difficulties. And I had trouble with it just on normal. So, again, this is dependent on your video card. My laptop will do this. This is a screenshot from my laptop, and it's running, I believe it's an AMD chip, whereas my desktop is running an NVIDIA card, and it does not do this. So keep that in mind. Not all video cards do this, but some of them do. So we're going to move this over here for later. Okay. What we're going to do, we're going to go to the Mass Effect Wiki. And if you have not seen this page, I highly recommend you get familiar with this. Uh, Okay, we're going to go up here to search, and we're going to search for PC Tweaks. Okay. And we're going to click on this first option. We want PC Tweaks for the first game. And we're going to go about, a th about halfway down. Um, we're going to be searching for the option, or the header that says In-Game Console. It's about halfway down. As you can see, ah, there we go. Um, you can change all sorts of things in here. Your weapon colors, your weapon, the lights on your weapon hol holders, you can change the colors on that. You can give yourself level 10 Spectre Mastercrafted weapons if you want, and you can do all sorts of stuff with this. For our purposes, we are just enabling an in-game command console. That's all we're doing. So we're going to search for this file right here, bioinput.ini. Now, before we do this, I do have to mention one thing. It says it right here. But every now and again, the bio input file will be overwritten to its original state, and you will have to do this again. It's not that big of a deal. Once you've done this, then it's really easy to do again. Okay, we're going to go back to our search bar. We're going to search for bio input. There it is. We're going to left click on that with our thumb. It's going to open up this notepad and we're looking for the line that says engine console. It's not that far down. It's very easy to find. It's after this first, it's after the break after bindings here. So we're going to go down and hey look there it is engine console. We're going to add in this line console key equals tilde no spaces. If you don't want it to be your tilde key, that's the one to the left of the one, just above your tab. 
If you want it to be a different key, you can have it be a different key. Just, excuse me, just be aware that some of these keys are already bound to different things and tilde is the easiest one because it's right there. So, if, like I said, you can put whatever one for simple ease, we're going to use tilde. Okay, once you've added that in, save, and we're going to exit. Uh, you also want to make sure that everything else looks like this right here. You want to make sure those two lines are the same. Sometimes that can be a little weird too. Okay, so there's that. Let's close that. I'm going to go into Mass Effect. We're going to load career, switch, and go to Amber, select. We're going to go here, load game. Okay, now as I said, this computer, this, uh, yeah, this computer will not do this with the Haywire shaders. Uh, for comparison, this is the same squad and the same character as the screenshot. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to press the tilde key and open up our console. We're going to type in view mode unlit. Now what this will do, this will turn off every shadow and every shader in play. Enter tilde to get out of it. As you can see, everything is bleached out, but the game is now playable. And that is all you have to do. Once you are out of Peak 15 and you are out of Ilos, you hit your tilde key again, and you type in view mode lit. And it turns everything back on. And that's all you have to do. And as I said, this will every now and again change, and it will overwrite, and you're going to have to do it again, but that is how you fix the problem of your squad turning into black mush. I hope you all found this useful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up, and please do subscribe to my channel, and thank you so much for watching. Happy gaming. Enjoy your Mass Effect.